what's going on YouTube in this video I'll try to explain how to release control back to vector while you're running your scripts using the Python vector SDK so a little bit more about the problem is when you download um, tutorials for vector for example right you have some scripts here that, that you can take a look at and whenever you run those scripts for example this one to listen for a wake word right so while this block is running vector is not gonna do his usual routine right he's not gonna drive around uh, look at stuff he is just gonna be sitting there and waiting for that wake word and he's gonna be gonna be waiting for like 10 seconds right so he's not gonna do anything for 10 seconds so if you wanna run if you wanna create certain scripts and make vector responsive you probably want to let him do his thing and only trigger your functions when certain uh, certain events happened with the way the SDK is currently you cannot do that you cannot give him control and only run your stuff when you when the event matches so we kinda have to hack the um, uh, hack the SDK a little bit to make that happen so that wh when I run this with block vector will actually continue to do his thing and then when wake word comes in it will trigger this function only then so what we'll do in this video is we'll add additional functionality to the vectors SDK to take control when we need to and then we'll the um, current behavior or current functionality of the SDK will stay intact. So two files that we're gonna need guys. We're gonna need this uh, connection.py and let me just actually I already have them over here. So this is the files that we're gonna need to make this work. Okay, the robot.py and this is from site packages. I'm actually uh, like I've installed this using pip so this is where it saved it in site packages so find yours if you can't access it through IntelliJ or uh, through PyCharm which is what I'm using uh, to work with this file I'm using PyCharm uh, for me I can just you know go to robot class and then um, click control B and that will take me to the robot class so now here I can start making changes so again find those two classes um, and then you can follow along from there. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into robot.py and over here in the method, or in the constructor signature, we're gonna add a new uh, new parameter here. I'm gonna call it take control, and this will be a boolean, and by default, I'm gonna set it to true. Now, the reason I'm setting it to true is because I don't want to break anything that currently exists and whatever currently exists actually assumes with that we're taking control so we're setting this to true because of that now the next thing we're gonna do is go inside the constructor and we'll need to create a variable in here so we'll just create one over here we'll say self and since most of their variables are protected, we'll make our protected as well. So I'll say take underscore take underscore control. And we'll assign this to the variable from the signature, take control. Now, inside this robot class, we have a function that's called connect. Let's try to find that function. So in this connect function on line 658, but the line number may change if they push new updates. So just remember that the, the function itself is called connect. We're gonna do the same thing that we did in the constructor. We're gonna add the variable to the signature, which is called take control. We'll also set it to true. And then inside here, we have this 
function which is called from the connection um, class actually so right now the function in the connection class which also called connect it doesn't take the variable take control but it doesn't matter we're gonna add that later so we'll say take control equals take control and every time we use this with um, Anytime a class supports with, uh, it will have a keyword like enter. So enter. And on this enter, we're using the connect function that we just modified. So one of the things we need to pass to that connect function is the value from the robot uh, constructor, right? So which is going to be self. And that's the protected take control um, function. And we're going to actually say take control equals take control. <clears throat> now let's go back to, to our connect function that we changed inside the robot. And let's go inside this connect function. Oh, actually, um, let's just do it this way. Let's just go to connection dot pi okay and let's go down let's find connect function in this guy so I'm just searching for connect functions okay so this is a connect function from connection class this is important we need the connection class so inside here we passed in the take control Parameter, right so we're gonna set it in this signature as well to make sure that that function actually takes that parameter okay also setting it to true so we don't break anything that currently exists now the next thing internally this connect function actually uses this protected self underscore connect which is another function right so we're gonna go inside that other function it's in the same file on line 445. It's just called, instead of def connect, it's called def underscore connect. Now we need to change the signature of this function as well. So we'll do the same thing. We'll just paste that in. And inside here, the reason we, we have been like throwing this uh, parameters through is actually to get to this exact function. Now inside this function, if you scroll down, um, if you scroll down there is this if requires behavior control and then there is this run loop until completes so we actually <clears throat> want to restrict running this loop uh, if we don't want to have control so I'm gonna say if take control so if we're taking control, which is going to be indicated by this argument here, right? If we're taking control, then we're going to run this until it completes. If we're not taking control, which is when we set this to false, then this will not execute. And then um, our robot should have full control to do whatever he wants. Now, one more thing that we need to do back in the connect function not not the protected one just the regular one we're passing arguments to the protected connect function so we need to make sure that we pass our take control argument down to this function as well now this should This should suffice. Uh, now we should be able to run any of our apps on our vector without it um, losing control. So let me just double check that. I'm gonna open one of my files here uh, to make sure that he is still working. Let me just go ahead and start them.
I'm just checking if he is responding. Yep, he is driving around. Okay, so let me let me guys tell you how this actually works. So what I kicked off. I so I kicked off um, a script that registers a bunch of uh, listeners, and what I did is I passed take control to false. Okay, so that's how you use it. Um, you in your with block, you want to essentially set the take control to false unless you actually want to take the control. And then whenever, whenever you want to like make vector actually say something, like for example, if you go back to this hello world um, example, right? If you used uh, take control false and then you want the vector to actually do something because um, now when I execute the say text it will actually not say anything so what I'll have to do is say robot uh, I think it's con request yeah request control and then I can actually do the say text and then I can release control back so that's essentially how you will use this okay guys that's the tutorial hopefully this helped you out make sure to like subscribe and share if this tutorial did help you out uh, also guys um, if, if something is not working you can always do pip uninstall for the SDK and then just reinstall it back again and try this again all right take care